Yikes. I am a big advocate for Christian school, and I truly believe in Christians uh, having their own schools and teaching our children, especially in the light of what's going on in our culture today. So much confusion where God is dethroned and the Christian God is made to look like a fool and atheist uh, teaching and evolution and so on. So I think Christians should certainly value their biblical teachings and also seek to impart that to their children as well. Now, Kanye West recently has started a school uh, named Dunda Academy. Let me share my screen with you here. What you see on your screen is the official website. I'm not necessarily sure what else is happening in this website, but I'm going to tell you what they actually believe. Kanye has been making headlines lately for many different things, not only for his political views, and recently he had that. So what? So what? Picture taken at the fashion show where he said white lives matter and people have lost their minds over that and i made a video where you can check it out also uh see what my perspective is concerning that but going to dunda's academy now here is kanye west making a move now to start a christian school first of all i want to applaud kanye just for the idea and the motive of that move now but we still have to examine whether or not is kanye west christian school ready for children or parents to actually admit their children to Kanye's school. Will that be a good idea at this moment is the big question we plan on answering today. So according to their website, they talk about their mission, using an ethic and integrity and care. Dunda Academy prepares students to become the next generation of leaders, thinkers and innovators by providing them with a world-class education that includes a rigorous core curriculum and Emphasis on sustainability, creativity, and critical thinking and problem solving. Sounds good to me so far. The students experience our project learning and models and so on. Uh, okay, to be a reflection of God's glory in the world. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. There is a sports team already talking about their staff. They say our staff believe. Okay, our staff believes each scholar deserve a. Uh, an innovated and personalized education. Okay, it sounds really great. Our experienced educators educators have an uncompromised passion for creating lifetime lifelong learners and Christ followers. We work to engage and educate the whole student mind, body, and spirit. Rule number 58 written. Writing should be regarded as an activity that necessitates critical thinking an aspect that is fundamental to all good writings. Okay, these are some of the things that are being said about Dunda Academy. I went on Google and looked at a number of pictures. It seems like this is a real thing. They have a school. They have a place where this school is located. Uh, currently, this is what we're looking at. Um, so uh, Dun Dunda Academy, yeah. Some people say it remains a mystery. Um, so this is what they're talking about as far as location is concerned. Uh, I'm still not even able to pull what the location is at this moment. And they do have a basketball team and highly invested in that as well. But so where do we uh, how do we make sense of what's happening here? Uh, I know Kanye is known for doing things in ways that we don't expect, right? This is Kanye being Kanye once again. And even the idea of creating a Christian school may not be a bad thing. Now, the question is, is it ready at this stage for parents to be uh, admitting their children to the Christian school? Uh, according to the New York Post, an article was uh, recently came out where they speak a little bit about Kanye West. Kanye West Dunda uh, Academy is another clueless billionaire's vanity project. Okay. Why are they criticizing it? Despite uh, falling to complete college, claiming he never read books, Kanye West has opened a Christian focused prep school in LA named after his mother, which costs 15000 a year. Well, First of all, even if Kanye West was not a reader, even he, even though he had not completed college, um, that doesn't necessarily mean he can start a Christian school. I don't personally agree with that. You may 
have your past doesn't necessarily mean you can't have new dreams and vision today. Kanye West has started an unaccredited private Christian school prep, okay, for students K-8, called the Dunda Academy. Now, this article went on to criticize Kanye for a number of things, which some of them I actually do agree with. Uh, but here is the Rolling Stone talking about the 15,000 year tuition cost for the school. Uh, the principal at the school has no apparent formal teaching experience. This is a big no, no. We're going to have a serious problem with that one. And Kanye wanted to have his children go into that school, but Kim, his wife does not agree. So here we are today. But here's another thing that's concerning about this school. The children, look how they dress. They all wearing Kanye's clothing line. His shoes, very expensive, or slippers, whatever you refer to that as, or even their shirts and pants, which I thought is a little bit weird. Um, but again, parents are entitled to do what they want with their children in that decision. So these are the, some of the things that are being uh, talked about at this time. And I have my perspective. Do I think this Christian school is ready? Will I ever put my child or any of my children uh, in Kanye school? No, that's not going to happen. It doesn't look like they are ready. Educational wise, do they have the proper uh, educators? Are they ready to teach children? And what are some things that they would be teaching children. One of the things that I'm also concerned with is that parents have to sign an NDA. What did you say? What did you just say? Uh, NDA? Wow. Non-disclosure agreement. Now, so that's a... So it makes you wonder what if there's a level of abuse happening within the school. That means you can't sue, you can't criticize, you cannot expose anything if you sign an NDA. And I'm not okay with that. For $15,000 a year, kind of a mystery led by Kanye at this stage of his world. You know, Kanye claimed to be a Christian. I can't criticize the man because I don't know him personally. But from watching videos and so on, I'm not so convinced that he is. I think he might be on a spiritual journey. Uh, but I'm very careful with people claiming to be Christian and live a way that does not very much reflect the character of Jesus. But who am I to judge? Because God works in our hearts and he meets us where we are. We are all at different stages and different phases in our Christian walk. So I'm a devout Christian. And so another thing that I found online that was somewhat disturbing to me is this video right here. This is a YouTube video where the children are saying good morning. It sounds like it's a choir, but they're saying good morning to Dunda. Dunda is Kanye's mother, as we saw in the article. She passed away years ago. But the thing is, why would you have children singing and saying good morning to your dead mother? There is something... Uh, terribly wrong with that let me explain to you what i mean let's listen to the video and then i'm going to share some biblical perspective and bring this to an end good morning Donda. good morning Donda. good morning Donda. good morning Donda. good morning, Donda. Good morning, Donda. Good morning Donda. Good morning They can sing, that's for sure. 
but I'm still having an issue with the content of the message. Number one, these children are beautiful. They look innocent and I love children and I hate to criticize kids under any circumstances. Children, I love children. Well, here's the thing. Why do you have children singing about your dead mother? Why would you be doing that? Oh, I'm going to resign. Again and again. This goes to show there's something wrong with Kanye's theology concerning the dead. I see dead people. That's why I did a whole Bible study about the state of the dead. I now went in perfect detail showing what the Bible says. Scriptures after scriptures. What the Bible is clearly, clearly, is vividly clear, if I may use it in that sense. Dead folks ought not to be talked to, prayed to, nor... Um, looked upon as if they are alive okay we are not idolaters we are not uh we don't worship saints we are not new agers we are christians here is the thing according to the bible for the living know that they shall die but the dead know not anything what part of don't know anything don't you understand it tells you that when a person dies, they don't know anything. Neither have there any more a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. And their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have there any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Many Christian church today do not have a correct understanding on the state of the dead. They believe that people are in heaven or dead people are in hell or they can contact get in contact in relationship with them communicate with the dead but the bible tells us that is not the case when you read the scripture god refers to death as a sleep in particularly when you look at the story of lazarus in the story of lazarus jesus wept and i love how jesus addresses the disciples and when he goes there Jesus is talking to the disciples, right? And he waited intentionally for four days after he got the news that Lazarus, the brother of Martha and Mary was dead. So Jesus in verse 11 said to his disciples, our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. And how be it that Jesus spake of us what? Of his death. So according to Jesus, what if this death like death is asleep? And he tells them that he tells about Lazarus, that Lazarus is asleep. And Jesus says, I'm going to go and wake him up out of the sleep of death, in essence. So when the disciples didn't understand what Jesus actually meant, Jesus answered to them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Now they got it. So when Jesus said Lazarus is sleeping, he meant that Lazarus is dead. His disciples didn't understand. So therefore, he reminded them very clearly that Lazarus is asleep. Now, look at this consistency you find in scripture concerning this topic. Again, I am not here to condemn Dunda, the mother of Kanye. All I'm simply saying is she's asleep. She's not to be communicated to, sing to, or pray to. That's not biblical. That's pagan. When you read what the Bible tells us here, Furthermore, about Jesus when he meets with Martha, with Mary, and he says, When Mary was come to Jesus and said to him and fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. So here is the thing. Before we read this passage, look what happens here. In her perspective, Lazarus has died. And Lazarus was going to wake up at the resurrection. Now, look what she says. So in verse 22, it speaks about Mary's conversation with Jesus, right? Whatsoever thou will ask of God, God will give it you. So she had faith and believed that God can actually even uh, use Jesus and bless uh, even to the point where resurrecting her brother. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. So look at what Jesus said. He's going to live again. But from her perspective, she thought that Jesus meant that my brother shall rise at the last days. In essence, Jesus was telling her, I'm going to wake up your brother. And she made the biblical theological uh, connection. She simply said, 
I know he's gonna rise again at the last days. So what does this tell you? Mary understands something very significant that many Christians forgot about. Mary understands that when a person is dead, they stay in their grave until the resurrection at the last days. But Jesus wanted to let her know, I'm going to resurrect your brother right now. He said, I'm the resurrection and the life and so on. But here is the thing. This is actually biblically parallel. When you go to John chapter 5, verses 28 and 29, Jesus' words again. Marvel not. Don't be surprised at this. The hour is coming. So, as the hour come, the hour is coming. Is that future or present? Future. In the which all that are in a grave shall hear his voice. Does that mean the people that are dead, are they in heaven or in hell, or are they in their grave? They're in their grave, according to Jesus. But what is going to happen? They're going to hear the voice of God. In verse 28, and shall come forth. So when they hear the voice of God, what's going to happen? They're going to wake up. They're going to get out of the grave and rise again. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of the nation. So there's two resurrections here, and they're about a thousand years apart when you compare this passage to Revelation chapter 20 and 21. But nevertheless, Let's focus on the aspect of the resurrection of life. So this is talking about the hour of Christ's return. When he comes, he's going to rise. Those who are dead, they will be brought back to life. So in essence, Dunda, the mother of Kanye, is not in heaven. Is not in hell. She's in a grave. And she has no conscience of time. She does not have anything to do with what's happening in the world. And we should not have little children singing to a dead woman. With all due respect, God is the judge. He will determine whether she is worthy of heaven or hell. That's not my purpose of this in this video. My purpose is to say this Christian school of Kanye is very doubtful from my perspective. And secondly, having children caught praying to a, a woman who passed away years ago. It's not a good practice that I want any of my kids to do. But I'll leave that alone. Until next time, and as always, share your thought and perspective with me. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree with me? Until next time, look unto Jesus. Live by faith. Have a good one. Bye. School, school, school.